Hey guys, Bob here, that Scottish drummer, and in this video I'm going to show you how I use takes in my Logic Pro 10 workflow and why you should be using them too. So maybe you're used to recording multiple takes, something like this. If you are, don't worry, we've all been there. But I'm here to show you that there's an easier way, and within Logic, these are called takes. Now takes are a really clever and useful idea. Essentially, they just allow you to record over something that you've previously recorded and keep both recordings stacked in a folder. When I'm recording for clients, sometimes they want both a simple version and a busier version of my drums. Takes allow me to record quickly and easily with the exact same levels for each take. Another example of why you might want to set this up would be, say you finished a good recording, but you know that feeling where you're just like, I wanna try this one more time, just to see if I can get a better one. Well yeah, with takes, it's dead easy. So let me jump over into Logic and I'll show you how I set this up. All right, first thing we're gonna do, Logic Pro 10, Preferences, Advanced Tools. If you haven't already, turn this on. It's off by default and I don't know why, because Logic is an advanced software. So it turns off some features, I was trying to save a template forever. I didn't have this turned on and saving a template, I guess, is an advanced tool. So make sure that's on if you haven't done it already and you will thank me for that. So to set up takes, we go up the top, record, overlapping audio recordings and just put create take folder, cycle off and cycle on. What those two options mean, this is the cycle tool. So when that's on, you know, you can loop a section and just keep recording. It'll do multiple takes and stack them up for you. And when it's off, you know, you can record a whole song from start to finish. And then uh, you can just record over any parts you want with the cycle tool off. And that's all you need to do to set up takes. So now you can record your first take from start to finish. You can hit enter and then R to record over that again, but keep both, which is really useful. One thing you can do with this is color code your takes. You could have green for your best take, you could have red for one that was a bit weak, blue for a simple version, and yellow for maybe a busier version. So that wraps it up for this video. I hope you found it useful. Takes are one of those things that once I've found out about them, I use them every time I sit down to record now, and I hope you do too. Now, if you were paying attention during the screen recording, you might have noticed that I have my drums in a folder stacked much like how takes stack. But that's a whole other video for another day. So be sure to subscribe so you don't miss that one. If you enjoyed this one, be sure to hit the like button. Stay safe and I'll see you in the next one.